AMS 2140, Collecting Peak and Phase Measurements. In this tutorial, I will show you how to collect peak and phase measurements on up to four channels simultaneously using the AMS 2140. As we review this technique, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. Here you see the home screen of the AMS 2140. Select F7 Analyze Mode and then F1 Manual Analyze. Use F1 Set Analyze Mode and choose Peak and Phase from the drop down menu. Select F2 to indicate which order you will measure. You can select any order, but most people will start with the first order. F3 Set Bandwidth has a default setting of 0.1 RPM. With that, we will measure a bandwidth of 10% around the value. F4 Set Average. For normal runout or shutdown measurements, this feature must be disabled in order to see the peak and phase measurements from any given moment and not just an average value. F7 Tack Setup is used for configuring the tachometer. For this tutorial, we are using a traditional photo tack, which means the power must be on and the trigger level set to 2 volts. You can confirm the tack is working by selecting F10 Show RPM. When you see speed information displayed, you know the tack is working. The default setting for delta time is zero, meaning the feature is disabled and data will be collected as quickly as possible. If instead you changed delta time to 3 seconds, data would only be collected every 3 seconds. The delta RPM default value is zero or disabled. If you were to enter 5 RPMs, data would only be collected on every fifth RPM change. You can also choose to collect data only within a specific RPM range using F10 RPM range. F12 input setup allows you to specify the kind of sensors that will be used. F1 select input is used to define the number of channels you will measure simultaneously. Here you see we will do so with all four channels. F7 Sensor Setup allows you to specify the kinds of sensors used. In this example, we will use accelerometers with a standard sensitivity of 100 mV per engineering unit and with power on. Our setting will be the same for inputs A, B, C, and D. Now we will start collecting data. This is the screen you see during data collection. Notice the speed given at the top of the screen with the amplitude and phase shown for each channel. When the machine is stopped, you will see the impact on both the speed and the peak and phase of each channel. You can stop data collection at any time by selecting F2 or F8. Let's stop the collection when the speed drops to 600 RPM. This data can now be stored in job mode using F8 store data or you can plot the data using F9. Here you see the speed and the amplitude for all four channels. F6 switch plot type allows us to choose from more available plot types. There are many types available, but you can only display four simultaneously. For this example, let's look at both the amplitude and phase data from channel A and disable the other channels. All of the data is measured and stored. We are simply choosing what to display at this time. Here you see the amplitude and phase plot for channel A, also called a Bode plot. You can also include a Nyquist plot for channel A. Now you see the Nyquist plot at the top of the screen. Let's go back and change the plot format from stacked to quad, which will make the Nyquist plot a little bit bigger. You can also install a cursor on the Nyquist plot. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com/ams2140. Thank you for watching.